Hi guys welcome to my podcast W5 Wow woman winning wonderful world Friends we study physics chemistry maths we study law of attraction dipole trigonometry theorem and believe that we have to apply it in practical life isn't it and friends applying what we have studied in practical life we become so practical at one instance that we forget basics that is theory of life so what is theory of life basically from parents point of view children are given birth to make them doctors and engineers who cares about making them human being main prime focus should be sensitive good human being and from children's point of view they are born to live a life who cares about quality life but prime focus should be a quality life so friends till everything is smooth none of us care about many questions which is basically theory of life and then when if we think in adverse situation we are having cliched questions what is meaning of life what is purpose of life why are we born so answers to these questions from spiritual point of view which is pillar of life are number 1 to complete the give and take account we have with various people number 2 to make spiritual progress with the final aim of merging into god and therefore getting out of cycle of birth and death so ultimately meaning of life is living with whatever we are destined by god destiny is when one has no control over life situation or event as a rule of thumb all major events in life such as birth of the person we marry the person major accidents major illness and death are predestined that is it is chosen for us based on destiny we are born with so guys our today's wow woman was given birth by god for a greater and bigger cause one can understand other suffering more deeply when one goes through situation but then in spite of everything destined god leaves some space for your karmas in this life to define destiny of your next life and this space if filled properly is purpose of your life and this is for what you are born so our today's wow woman is a woman whose name only defines that she was to inculcate knowledge in others and she is incarnation of ma saraswati so friends round of applause for our today's wow woman vidya vai who is blind from her birth but is today a blind entrepreneur who has lightened the lives of thousands of visually impaired kids and has built their future in stem that is science maths and technology really a hero for all those who understand her journey because her journey with so much odds was not easy but she made it not only for her but for so many being blind never dosed the fire within vidya who always found joy in learning science mathematics and technology growing up she was told that subjects like science and mathematics would be difficult to pursue due to her disability but she never wanted to compromise on her interests and was always ready to go the extra mile to achieve her dreams children who have disabilities like her are not encouraged to pursue science instead people suggest they opt for humanities or arts it is mainly because there is not a well designed curriculum set for students who are blind to learn the subjects efficiently while a successful entrepreneur today her journey was not always easy as she had to fight heavy stigma but today she has beaten all odds to study science and empowered thousands of people with visual impairment through vision empower a non profit that offers effective learning in stem courses to students with visual impairment the turning point in her life vidya who was born blind hails from thirumagod nahali located on the outskirts of bengaluru she was living in a small village and this made it even more difficult for her parents to raise a blind child coupled with 
limited resources and facilities as well as massive stigma while growing up people considered her different from others it was very difficult for her to cope up with all this even though her parents didn't know how to go about raising her but they wanted her to get a good and quality education after completing her early education at a vocational training center near her village she joined a formal blind school in bengaluru she did her schooling there from class 2 to class 7 that's when she realized her love for mathematics and science but when she expressed her interest in pursuing the subject she was advised not to go for for students with visual impairments there is an option to choose alternate non science subject after class 7 a majority opt for those leaving just a few who go for science and maths she recalls that her parents tried to enroll her in several reputed schools but none wanted to admit her she remembered she was crying in most of the interviews for school admissions she was young and was not courageous enough to st- speak for herself and her parents were also helpless while she loved maths and science she says it was not easy for her to study the subjects because of their visual nature coming from a blind school she didn't knew how to handle the situation it was a very small school and she was an exception so she had to sit through all the classes completely clueless about what is being written or drawn on the board in the initial days she used to come back home and cry so her parents decided to arrange a private tutor for her who would help her with the subjects after school eventually things started working out and she slowly started improving in her studies from class 8 till post graduation she hardly remembers sleeping well she had to spend extra hours after school and college to understand the concepts and to keep up with others in class 10 she scored really good marks and received a lot of media coverage for that it was a turning point where everyone realized what she could really do so after finishing her schooling she joined a puc where she took commerce with mathematics later she opted for computer science for her graduation which she remembers as one of the most challenging period in her education it involved a lot of programming diagrams lab work etc but she didn't understand anything but luckily she found some volunteers from canada who took classes for her after college via zoom it went on for 3 years and she did well in exams vidya then enrolled for her post graduation in digital society programming at triple it bangalore and passed out in 2017 with with a gold medal during her course she did an internship with microsoft and it was an amazing experience for her but after finishing the course after getting the gold medal also she was not able to find a job as nobody was ready to hire her but god had something big for her so she worked so hard and didn't want to compromise she wanted to do something in her stream that's when she started thinking of starting something on her own her own entrepreneurship in 2017 vidya launched empower vision empower with amit prakash her professor at triple it and supriya day a research student at the institute vision empower offers an accessible learning management platform to promote experiential learning of stem subject computational thinking and digital literacy and also includes early childhood program to promote stem learning she started by giving out textbooks to visually impaired children with diagrams they could understand by touching and feeling the theory is in braille and the diagram are in 2d says vidya they provide these materials to students from class 4 to class 6 but now they have expanded to include kids from class 1 to class 
Another initiative is a teacher's training program to learn new concepts and innovative tools. One of their biggest initiative is computational thinking, which is in partnership with Microsoft. It is a new method being used across the world and it's a good time to start for people with visual impairment. It's a set of methods and practices for solving complex problems and presenting solutions in a way that a computer can also understand. For the digital literacy program, they have developed their own tools to teach the kids using different play-based methods. They have kids from across the country. Ever since the pandemic started, they have been doing the training sessions online. The technology arm of Vision Empower, Wembi Technologies, has developed a learning management system named Subodh, where all study material is made accessible to teachers and children with visual impairments. Vidya says they have also designed an affordable braille book reader for children called Hexus Antra. Bhagyashri Parapagula, a teacher at the government blind school, says since 2018, she have been attending Vision Empower's training program for teachers working with disabled children across Karnataka. And her experience is that her trainings are focused on how to handle subjects like science and mathematics and teach students easily. Ever since pandemic began, they have been helping us, that is, uh, Vidya is helping Bhageshri by conducting Zoom classes and training them in how to teach kids online without physical proximity. They also send them teaching material like textbook and different types of teaching aids that enrich the learning process. These programs are clearly helping the visual impaired students in developing interest in math and science. Vidya's enterprise is currently working with over 80 schools across six states. They have directly partnered with government of Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Tripura, Delhi and Gujarat. This year, they have been around 1800 direct and indirect beneficiaries with the help of hundreds of volunteers and this organization is mostly funded by corporations like Microsoft, Wipro, Electrobit India, Cognizant as well as individual sponsors. Vidya had experienced a lot of challenges while growing up. The system has not changed much where visually impaired children are still discouraged from taking up STEM subjects, science, maths and technology. But Vidya is firm and her motto is also firm. She wants to help the visual impaired children, their parents and teachers to explore all opportunities and to create awareness in this regard. Really, really a wow woman. So this podcast is inspiration and motivation for all those who are physically and mentally fit. First, thank this universe for all this and then take away that you are supposed to never give up when people are struggling with things that you have. Kaj ka tukda tha mein tumne mujhe hira banaya. Kaise shukriya ada karu tumhe jo mujhe jina sikhaya. Fark to bas humare soch ka hai kyunki kathinaiyaan hume kamzor nahi balki majboot banane aati hai. To milenge kal next wow woman ke saath. Till then keep smiling. Be happy. Bye-bye.